Whose house? Swerve's house. Uh, see, now, <laughs> and now we got uh, Timeless yeah. Tony Storm versus Thunder Rosa. Yes. Which, by the way, just from an aesthetic standpoint, this is the best poster of this whole pay-per-view. Absolutely. And I'm not just saying it because of the black and white aesthetic that Tony Storm's been rocking ever since she started the Timeless gimmick. But my God, Thunder Rosa just looks like something out of a painting. Oh, absolutely. And that is, yeah. Thunder is powerful. This is just a this is just something to hang on a wall. Mm -hmm. That said, all glowing reviews aside. <laughs> I really don't know who to pick for this one, to be honest. All right. Go with the coin flip? Uh, Do the hand-showing method? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll save the coin flip and come by really not sure. But let me hear from you and Day first. Uh, well, I love, like, Thunder Rose is awesome. And uh, here on Busted Open, pretty much every, every, uh, every other day or so, it's... Hmm. Hmm. I I don't. I, I'm stuck on this one too. So. Okay. <clears throat> well, since these two gentlemen are stuck, I'm basically gonna basically <laughs> I'm basically gonna fill in everything. So, remember a long time when Thunder Rosa was the AEW champion and she never lost her belt. Right. And they gave it to Tony, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Back before she joined up with uh, Paige and all them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Thunder, Thunder Rose was never cleared, number one. And number two, there were some issues. I will say this. This is what I'm going to basically say. And take it with a grain of salt. This is Thunder Rose's redemption story. Because she never lost the belt. She's going to reclaim what she never lost. And that's the AEW Women's Championship. I'm putting my money on Thunder Rosa. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, it's like, I want to put my money on Thunder Rosa. But I don't think they're going to take it off a of storm just yet. Not while she still has has like her group going strong. Rosa would Rosa would need outside assistance to be able to take it off of storm, to basically negate her friends. So I think I think Storm's going to continue to hold on to this one due to shenanigans. Hmm. Okay, that's your opinion, you know. <laughs> I I think otherwise, but you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say I'm gonna have to say Tony. Like okay. the way storylines are going and everything, like yeah, by all accounts, Thunder Rosa should be the one to take it off of Tony. But not yet. Mm, okay. they're, having, they're having a match via pay per view. Uh since Thunder Rosa was back in uh, AEW the first time, back when she was champion. So, I mean, mm -hmm. to go ahead and just leave it on the line at this point when you still have plenty of time to, like, work this up a little bit more. We haven't even really seen the cracks uh, in Tony's uh, dynasty of her own here with Luther and Mariah May. Well, you only... I well, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did with Mariah May. You did with Mariah May. You did, with Mar you did, did see it with Mariah May. Yes. Uh, not necessarily. We, we've seen that Mariah May has other allegiances other than to Tony. Mm -hmm. Now, has that necessarily been at the detriment of Tony Storm yet? No, it has not. It's just simply pointing out, hey, Mariah had a life before this. Yeah. And that person uh, goes Sometimes ahead. your past come back to haunt you, just like with this. Right. Right. So far, it's not haunting anything. It's just there. They... They shared a kiss. They had some bubbly. That's it. That that's not. Yeah, but what happens when that bubbly becomes a distraction? 
And if something turns out to be like that, I don't know if they're necessarily going to do it that quickly. This is something that could easily go on for like another two months, I would say, where you can actually work up to the point where, okay, enough is enough. Something's going to break. And that's when Tony loses the belt. So right now, things are a little bit too stable. Time as Tony keeps it. Yeah, I say Thunder takes it. And then you start seeing the cracks. But they need to see the cracks first. But we but we need to see the cracks before the title changes hands. Not necessarily. I think I think so. Okay. Be like, ooh, child. But anyway. So that's two for Tony, one for Thunder. I got my bet hand on Thunder. Uh, is there anything left? I don't, I don't think nope, so. Nope, that, that is the entire card. Got wow. all 11 matches. And uh, from what it looks like, Ryan and I have the exact same card. <laughs> what? Yep. We got the exact same card, same pick, same picks for every single match. Well, Davion was different in a lot of them. So it's oh. either Dave's going to be just rocketing ahead of all of us, or, or he's going to be plummeting behind all of us. Well, so we'll see how that goes. I, say, I really think I'm going to lose. Caden, Caden's the uh, number one uh, competitor. Yeah, we'll need to get Caden's picks. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown.